Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. And we have Rashad. You got to hear this story. He's going to tell the juicy one. All right, go right ahead, babe. So I came across a video on YouTube, and there was this pastor guy. He was talking about how he healed his foot through his faith in Jesus. Um, basically, he was trying to fix a radio tower light. It was light at the top of the tower, and it went out. And it's, he said that you have to have those kind of things fixed or you can get fined or something like that with a radio tower. Wow. And it's a actual fence around the tower before you go and try to go up the tower. You have to get through the fence first, and you need a key to get through mm -hmm. that fence. He lost the key. So he had already had his climbing gear on, so mm -hmm. he took it upon himself and tried to climb over the fence. Oh. And that's when he went and fell over it, he tried to climb it, and hit his foot right on the ground. And as soon as he hit his foot, he either hit his, his uh, ankle or his foot, one of the two, and he broke it. He snapped it. Mm. And he still, he got up, and he repented for doing something stupid. This is this, These are the words that he used. He said he did right. something stupid, and he repented for it. He still climbed up the tower. It was a 250-foot tower that he climbed up. It's a radio tower. And he fixed the light at the top, and on his way down is where he started feeling like he was going to faint because of, the, um, pain. because of the pain of his foot. Wow. And he, he made a joke that he went ahead and, and latched himself onto the tower by locking his, his – um, is climbing gear onto the tower yeah. just in case he faints and he can still kind of like hang there until he wake back up again. Right. But he didn't faint. So once he got to the bottom, that's when he said his foot was already swollen. At that point, it became swollen and blue. And he went back to the place he came from, which was the office, and he showed the people in the office that, hey, I broke my foot, but I am healed by God. I am healed. Oh. He said that he spoke that to them. And, he, and then once he said that to them, he left out the office and went back home because his house is all, also across the way, across the street. So when he walked inside his, his house, his wife was there. She was got she was folding clothes and stuff. And he told her the, the same thing he told the people at the office. He was like, oh, I broke my foot, but I'm healed by Christ. Uh -huh. And so he went upstairs limping because his foot is broken. He hasn't he hasn't went and seek, uh, seeked out med medical attention or anything like that for his foot, which a normal person would do. But because he has faith in God and because he believes in God, he, you know, he just said he's going to, he's, he's, he's proclaiming that he's healed because he wants God to work a miracle in, in his life. So he went upstairs and laid in his bed. And this was about three o'clock in the afternoon. And as he's laying in his bed, he actually heard an audible voice tell him, what are you doing? And the voice also asked him, and it did, the second time the voice asked him in his heart, he said, do you normally sleep around this time of day? Get up. And when he got up, that's when he started actually doing a miracle work on his foot. He started saying, in Jesus' name, I am healed. And he started taking his broken foot, picking it up, and slamming it on the ground. And whenever he slammed it on the ground, he will faint. Oh. He will see stars, and then he will just black out. Oh. He did this about four times. Oh, he would get goodness. up, slam his foot, saying, I, re I rebuke this swollen foot in the name of Jesus. He, every time he would do that, he would faint. So he fainted about four times. And once he got up for that fifth time, he went and slammed his foot again, and he was healed. His foot, uh, the swelling on his foot went down. The color went from that bluish color once your foot, you know, when something is bruised or, you know, broken, right. it has that dark that, color to it, your skin, purple, yeah. purplish. It started fading away until the normal, the, you, know, you know, the normal color of his skin. Um, and once he saw that happen, he ran outside and went back to the office and said, hey, y'all, you see, my foot is healed, my foot is healed. And he went, he said he just went dancing in the parking lot of the office and he was just happy. He was just so happy that God had healed him. And that's wow. because he didn't, he didn't give up. He kept going. 
you know, even when, you know, the normal, the average person would have just not even tried what he did, which slammed right. your foot, make it, yeah. that can make it hurt That's even worse. Insane. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it, it could have made it hurt worse, but he right. you know, he gave it to Christ at that time. Mm. Now that's faith. That anytime you allow yourself to feel that kind of pain, oh my goodness, Ooh, I shudder at the thought. Mm. But God is faithful. He put yeah. God's name on the line and God came through with flying colors. Wow. Mm. See, faith with works. Mm. Mm. Mm, that's a beautiful testimony. I know God healed. I know it. I, I fell out the bed one day. I'll make it real quick. Fell out the bed, came out of a deep sleep. My husband called me. I went to come out the bed, didn't know I was on the edge, and all my weight landed on my kneecap. Wow. On my knee. Oh, I couldn't move. I was frozen with pain. And I held it, and I said, no weapon formed against me will prosper in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against me will prosper in Jesus' name. And I started asking God, heal this now. Get it going. Lord, if there's any pain, numb it, numb it, numb it. I got to still take care of my husband. I can't afford to have to worry about a bum leg right now. So I need you to heal it or start the healing process so I can function and let there be no pain so I can still work with it and let there be no negative residual effects down through the years. Yeah. And I lay there until it was completely, completely numb. It went numb, just like I asked. And I got up, and I took care of my husband, and that knee stayed numb for a year and a half. And slowly as the feeling started coming back, it would itch a lot. That's how I knew the feeling was coming back. And now all my feeling is back. It was my left knee. I'll never forget that. It took about three years before it totally felt normal. Wow, but it never you, you never were in pain from it. Never in pain. Wow. A lot of people, they knee injuries are like crazy. Right. And you're always in pain from that stuff. So that's a miracle. That's right. And I just applied the word. That's all I had was the word and a quick prayer. Yep. That's exactly what the guy did. He applied yeah. the word. And he, he mentioned he mentioned that too. That's crazy. So he said what did that. he say? What did he say? They asked him he just made a statement. He was like they asked him why. And he said, Because the word is in me. Ah. Because the word is in me. Mm hmm. Like, why? Maybe why did you get healed? Why did you do that? You know, he just said, because the word is in me. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what you just said. You used the word. Wow. Mm-hmm. See, yeah. a lot of people think <clears throat> God's word's been tampered with and all that. I don't get into all that because yeah. you know, none of us know for a fact. But we do know one thing. What is left of God's word is still alive and kicking, baby. And all the other words, too, that they tried to omit is still alive. And when you hear the truth, God's word, the truth in God's word is what is alive. The principle of God's word is alive. And you can speak yourself into a heart attack. You can speak yourself out of a heart attack. You can speak yourself out of a stroke, just like I did. When I sat in the choir stand and the room spun, and I felt myself fainting, and I broke out in a profuse sweat, the left side of my face went numb, my ear went deaf, my left ear went deaf. I knew that was stroke time, and all I could do was say, I rebuke stroke in the name of Jesus. I rebuke stroke in the name of Jesus. I command my blood pressure to go down, 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 go down, now in the name of Jesus. I didn't have time. To tell everybody what was going on, I had to handle it right there on the second. And when I got through going over and over and over with that, the dizziness went, the numbness, the feeling started to tingle back into my face, and my hearing popped up, my ear popped open, and I could hear again. And I knew I was out of danger. And at that point, I cut pork loose because I had 
pigged out on pork that week and hadn't been eating pork for over a year. So I over inundated my system. But I definitely, definitely blew off, rebuked, cast away from me having a stroke. Mm -hmm. And God, God's name, the name of Jesus, the word of God, prayer, I'm telling you, and definitely faith. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Rashad. I love You're those welcome.